Joining me now, former New York City Police Commissioner Howard Safer. Um, Howard, always great to see you and to talk about these issues. I mean, the images of Kim are really, really troubling, and, and her talking about it and opening up the fear, how quickly this kind of thing can happen. I mean, I walk on the streets of New York City all the time and, and wonder when some mentally ill person, you know, is going to come after me. I mean, we shouldn't have to live this way, yet somehow it's become the new normal. It, it is the new normal, and it's sad that it takes a famous volleyball player to get the media to really pay attention to it. The fact is, thousands of innocent civilians who are not involved in any criminal activity are being assaulted every day, and that's because the soft on crime district attorneys like S. Cohn, and because police are looking the other way because they're not being backed. Mm. And it's interesting because if we drill down on L.A., for example, obviously, you know, um, the signatures have been amassed and there's a whole process with respect to whether there can be a recall of Gascon. And while we're waiting for that, he is appealing a court ruling that essentially said he overstates his authority. He must charge cases um, under California's three strikes law. He's saying, no, nope, no, nope, I'm appealing this. I don't have to do that. I mean, it's mind boggling. It is mind-boggling, which is why 700,000 Los, Los Angelinos have signed a petition to remove him. The fact is he cares more about criminals than he does about victims. This is somebody who just doesn't understand what his role is. He's not yeah. doing his job, which is, which is to prosecute criminals. We'll see what happens with the recall, but then you've got situation, for example, in Seattle, where the mayor there is considering some incentives to get police officers back on the streets policing after a shortage. I mean, Howard, you think about what happened, right? Across this country, there were movements to defund the police. You had liberal mayors and cities defunding the police and restricting their authority. So people walked away from the profession. They retired early. Young people are saying, I don't want to go into that field. I'm told this is not, you know, the right direction for me to go. Now they have to go the other way to try to re-incentivize them to come back. I mean, it wouldn't have been enough to just leave it all alone. Well, you know, Seattle is a perfect example. You reap what you sow. In Seattle, during the riots, they demonized police. They actually ceded part of the city to the rioters. They were looking to prosecute police for being brutal and racist. Yeah. And now they see crime is going off the charts, homicides are going crazy, and now they say they want them back. The, the problem is very few young people now want to be police officers because they see the way they're being treated. Mm. And these incentives are not going to attract the kind of police officers that you want. Yeah. You don't want people who want to be police officers for money. You want them because they want to serve. It reminds me of what happened in the medical profession when, um, you know, claims against doctors and their insurance premiums went up and it, people started to question whether they wanted to be doctors anymore. And you think about the quality of the overall system. You think about the same thing when it comes to police. People saying, I don't want to take a job where the liability against me for doing my job is, is so high. Who needs that? Well, you know, it, for instance, in New York, they did away with qualified immunity for police officers. So what police are doing pretty much across the country now is if they see a crime in progress, they'll respond. Right. But they're not going to do anything to prevent crime. And that's why we're seeing crime all over this country going off the charts. Yeah. It's not going to stop until we get rid of these liberal D DAs who don't understand what they're doing. Yeah. New York has the same... New York has the same issue with Bragg. I talk to NYPD all the time, and they have told me off the record, but they have said, you know, basically, unless it's really serious, I'm not getting involved. And that's scary um, for the residents here. Howard, always great to see you, sir. Thank you. Good to be with you, Jackie.